Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for Monday, November 9th, 2009. Quick reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you have established a proven track record of success on the demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Happy Monday, everybody. Quick uh, recap of Friday. Uh, Non-farm payrolls uh, came in slightly below forecast, and the previous month's numbers were revised for the better. Dollar wasn't able to make any headwind, and just ended up swinging back and forth between 148.20 and 149.10. Fed also continued to say that they will leave interest rates at extremely low levels for an extended period of time. Nothing major out of the G20 meeting. Uh, the Tobin tax was di discussed, and that is a levy on a t uh, that they would levy a tax on most bank transactions uh, as an insurance measure to prevent from uh, further bank crises, where this tax would then be used to help bail out banks in the future instead of using taxpayer funds. China was pressed for further yuan appreciation and the financing over climate change was also discussed. The fact that the euro didn't fall below 148 opens up room for further dollar uh, losses. Currently looking at the euro dollar on the daily trading at 148.45. Weren't able to break up b above the 149.10 neither below the 148 level. Uh, moving averages are beginning to point up. Uh, we're expecting the dollar to continue losing ground. A break below 148 would be bearish for the euro. Um, and if a break below 148 occurs, uh, we would start to look to switch to a more uh, bullish dollar stance. First level of support is going to be found at 148.00 for the euro. Below that is going to be 147.20 and 146.80. Below 146.80 will be the 148 figure. First level of resistance is going to be just above the 149.10 level here, 149.15, 149.20, excuse me, 149.20. Above that, 149.50. Above that is going to be 150 and 150.60. That's going to be the previous pivot high. Let's take a look at the pound, currently trading at 166.07. First level of support for the pound is going to be found on 166, excuse me, 165.20, followed by 164.50. If the pound manages to lose ground below that, we'll look to find support at 162.52, and finally at 161.20. If the pound continues to gain ground and breaks above previous day's high of 166.37, 166.40. It's going to be our first level of resistance. Above that will be 167, which is just above this pivot. And above that will be 167.20. If we manage to break above the 50% retracement level from the initial fall from the, I want to point this out, from the initial fall which began at 2 to the low of 135 and change. Now let me zoom back in. Then we'll find resistance at 170. Very tough to find any uh, levels of resistance here between 167.20 and 170. So be very careful if we do break above this level. Dollar Swissy currently trading at 101.72. First level of support is going to be found at 101.30. We have a pretty good support area here over the last three days. Below that will be 101.02. And if we manage to break below that and uh, manage to break below the support, uh, this trend line. Uh, keep an eye on for 10030, which is this previous area of support. And then finally, parity. 
First level of resistance for the dollar is going to be found on 102, which is uh, Friday's high. Above that will be this nice area of resistance at 102.80. And if we manage to break above that, most likely we'll need a close to see um, testing, uh, to see a, a test 103.20 and 103.50. Above that will be 104.50. Dollar yen currently trading at 89.95. First level of support is going to be at 90. Uh, it's going to be at 89.50, followed by 88.80. 88.20 and 87.20. It's a must that we break below this 89.50 level if we want to continue to see further uh, yen gains. First level of resistance is now going to be at, um, excuse me, this needs to go. It's going to be at 90.80 followed by 91.50. Above that will be 92. 92.30 and 93.20. If we want to see the dollar continuing to gain gains, we need to see a break of 92.30. Um, a break of 91.30 will be the first area, uh, specifically 91.50, but uh, more sp more technically we need to see a break of 92.30 to see uh, further uh, yen gains up into the mid to higher 90s. If you'd like a more detailed analysis with potential trade opportunities, please join us in the members section. This has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, free daily Forex video for November 9th, 2009. Until tomorrow, good luck.